Ladies and gentlemen, the Senior Marketing Director and Executive Chef of the Appalachian Wireless Arena in downtown Pikeville, Kentucky, Josh Kessler and Wes Hutchison. Yeah, look at us. <clears throat> Here we are. Looking good, boys. Yeah, Looking good. Are. Y'all both lost weight. Trying, man. I'm trying to keep up this guy. No, no. He's I'm really trying. out here. Like, full commit, fully committed. He was drinking grass last time I seen him. Fully sending it. Was that mine? <laughs> Your grass? Drinking yeah, my grass. grass? I was. What is that stuff called it again? It was, uh, that was V8. And it was like all like, I told you I was going to be the V8 guy. It was like all like a million fruits and vegetable things. It was weird. It made me have weird stomach pains. But V8. A little bit of That's how this stuff cleans you out too. Oh yeah, <laughs> but I, but it's, 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 it's kind of like it's kind of like getting popular to be healthy yeah. almost nowadays. Yeah. Yeah. Dad bods or dad, I thought dad bods are still in though. It's some it's yeah. a thing. Yeah. yeah, sure. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, mullets yeah. are back now, and those like the weird eighties uh, sunglasses. Have yeah, y'all seen the pit those? vipers? Pit vipers. Yeah. yeah, that's what they're called. Yeah, pit yeah. vipers. Yeah, that's a great name for them. A lot of baseball players wear those. I too, see, that, and yeah. I see a lot of our fire department yeah, actually fire has department those. Yeah. rocking the mustache and pit yeah. vipers. Big deal. I don't get it. Like like to each his own, man. To each his own. Those are like Macho Man. Literally. Glasses. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. What told me and Randy said, Where my glasses? Where my glasses? That's a great impression. Sorry, I had, a, I had a stroke. Yeah. But I, I, it, it's just so funny how like stuff, you know, comes back yeah. after so long. I, I dig the mullet craze, man. That's I, I'm all about it. Hold on I to your parachute pants, mullet. bro. Hold on to your parachute pants. They coming back. Oh, you think parachute pants? Yes, are back? of course they you are. Never know. I'm not holding out much hope. Hey, on that, bell bottom jeans came back there for true. a minute. Well, so I mean, parachute on pants. You never know. Speedos for the dudes coming back. Mm. European hey, style. Hey, you go to the beach, there's still some of those yeah. guys holding on That's to that. That's a bold move. That's a thick man's dream right there. I don't know. I don't <laughs> feel like you want to be out there like that. You know what hey, they say girl summer? Care. It's thick boy summer. It is. Oh. I convinced him of this on on our way here today. Thick boy summer. It's thick boy season. <laughs> We're going to do this. Well, I mean, if if we start it, it'll catch on. You yeah. know, you just got to sure. make a TikTok and it'll blow up. We're going to buy shirts. Yeah, Big are. boy summer. We'll get some merch going. Yeah. We're it's a side hustle. It's probably yeah. out there. I'm all for the mullets, though. And I guess them sunglasses are cool. I just never had on a pair, so I can't hate. Yeah. I, I'm not <laughs> bold enough to go with the full mullet yet, but I do appreciate a good one. You have something. I got a little something on, happening. Though. Yeah. I got a little thunder in the back. Yeah. I what? what that means. <laughs> a little lightning on the side, yeah, thunder in the back. Little little lettuce. Hey, that sounds good. A little that sounds yeah. good. Yeah. A little yeah. lettuce in the back. I don't know. I'm just kind of, I'm throwing words out. Help me here. It's sprouting some carrots in the front. What you doing, bro? I'm Lighting doing on the sides, thunder in the back. I like, I like it. Lighting that. on the sides, like thunder in the back. I haven't had the uh, courage to pull the trigger and go full send on it yet. Do it. I, I tried to, but my wife, is she's not yeah. about it at yeah. all. Mm. I just feel like I look insane. I think yeah. you could pull off a mullet, man. Yeah. Dude, I think you could, too. I'm going to get me a face tat if you get a mullet. <laughs> We, I mean, I'll film it. Is that this will? We, we can got make that this on thing. camera, right? Face tat for a mullet. Cry baby. I'm face all, tat. Yeah, I will get a little tear. Isn't that what right Post here. Malone has? Yeah. Cry baby. <laughs> People get them. Thick face. boy. Man, back in the day, man, you, you you were gangster if you had the face tat. Like everybody knew what the teardrop yeah. meant. You know, nowadays it's just if you're a SoundCloud sure. rapper, you got you one. Can, yeah, it, yeah. Make, it gives you a little bit of edge without really doing anything. It just gives you that edge. I pushed a person at Walmart one time. I got me a teardrop for it. That's pretty much what happens now. <laughs> it's basically I hit a yeah. lady on the shopping cart. Bam. Yeah, accidentally. I'm I, sending teardrop. a text. We, I, I just love the mullet craze, man. But people don't know like how to go about the mullet correctly. Yeah. See, like everybody's like the Morgan Wallen mullet mm, nowadays. Yeah. That's what I call them. It looks oily and it's just yeah. flat and there's no there's no flavor yeah. to it. You know what I mean? The Billy Ray Cyrus, 1980 yes. Billy Ray yeah. Cyrus. That's a mullet. Yeah. You, have have, you have to have some perm in yes. there. Did and Ricky Skaggs have one? Nobody's done it better than Billy Ray, number one. Oh, Let's yes, acknowledge that's, that. That's, that's, first that's off. the number Nobody's one. Nobody's ever done it better. Make you break your heart. But, yeah. I, but, but that, like, that's what like the young kids nowadays that are growing up on the mullet, that's who they that's who their role model needs to be yeah. that's who they need to instead of Morgan Wallen yeah, that's no, no. looks like a rat yeah. tail more than a mullet Lord help us Ricky Skaggs for sure rock he Morgan. did I know yeah. he did I thought, thought I've seen it before um, oh Jeff Gordon Alex Jeff just Gordon. reminded me yeah. Yeah. Jeff, Gordon. Jeff Gordon big mullet vibe yeah Jeff well, Gordon you hate to it. see it um, from you by the way you hate to see it um, during all of our country concerts that we've had so far mm-hmm. you will see the mullets 
you will not miss a younger, probably 20-ish year old yeah. that doesn't have a mullet. What if y'all started doing like mullet contests during your country concerts? We could. Best mullet wins. <laughs> Don't let me grow mine because I'll hot show my love. I think you could pull on the mullet. Listen, the last show that we had, it would have taken us all night to sort through all the mullets. Yeah, it was a sea of mullets. Shout out to all like the mullets. Like if you threw a penny, out there. beautiful thing. If you threw a penny, you were going to hit a mullet. Yeah, they were out Straight for up. the last hey. Jamie Johnson show. For yeah. Sure. yeah. I wonder how many people that come to y'all's country shows, like if that's the only time that they wear their cowboy boots and cowboy hat of that you year. You see a lot of it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. it's too They're too clean. You know? You're like, yeah, there's no dirt on that. Try yeah. and talk him into wearing one of them country shirts during the next country concert we have. You know, one of them old western like um, Conway Twitty? I, listen, yeah. I, I'm a big snaps over buttons guy. Really? Huge snaps. So yeah. Oh, yeah. Why would you not be? It's hmm. much more snaps? convenient. What was snaps? You know what I'm saying? Like the little rivet snaps on a shirt. Oh, Instead of buttons. Okay. Snaps. Little, like little, like, yeah. Yeah, little button top yeah. deals. Yeah. It's like breakaway. Next country concert, we're going to get him a hat and some snaps. I already own a... I, I'm a western shirt guy. Yeah? yeah. You got a snappy snap? Yeah, sure. I think, Ooh. hey, the snap... See, man, like, if you, if you get into a brawl, you know, after the show, like, somebody's like, oh, Conway yeah. Twitty sucks, and you're like, what? You just yeah. rip it off, you know? Your mom... Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Makes me more aerodynamic when I fight. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I feel like he'd be pulling some. I'd be pulling some chest hair by accident. And be like, oh, oh, I can't fight. Can we? Can what? we talk about this? Yes, sir. No, the fact that Josh Kessler got into a fight uh, at the last. It. Nope. What? Didn't do it. Yeah. Didn't what? happen. Didn't happen. Josh Kessler. What? No proof. Li- here's the deal. Okay. No and, proof. And I just want everybody to understand. No that proof. His his title is senior director of marketing and sales, but he's at slash security at the Appalachian Wireless Arena. I mean, we all step up when we have to. My man yeah. was patrolling the concourse, and uh, he saved the day, honestly, from a crazed. Uh, well, fan. actually, we shouldn't say crazed. Just a, an unruly patron. Mm-hmm. Unruly is a good word. Took him down. Hey, well, it just hey, it's just one of those Took things. Him down, just just one of them. The times. new and improved Josh hey, Kessler. Man. I mean, look at him. He's a brute. He's working out, mm. getting right. Mm. Yeah, he's, I wouldn't mess with you right uh, now. He dropped. He dropped the guy. Uh, dropped him. Mm. Well, we were talking about wrestling right before we hopped on air. So yeah. you probably mm. like that's probably where you got that mm. from. Yeah, Maybe. that's nice, man. Yeah, yeah, man. Heck yeah. Mm. My man was patrolling the concourse. I, I was just there. I was just there. It was saving, just a weird place, a weird time. Yeah, saving a damsel yeah. in distress behind the bar. Mm. I mean. You're a hero. It's a beautiful thing. No, he really is. I love you. He is a hero. Not, I acknowledge not. it. He's a hero. I'm like I'm like Spider Man that got stuck and didn't realize the spider bit him and oh there it is. It happened. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Accident. Johnny on the spot. He sprung into action though. Yeah. But I will say that's one thing about y'all's country shows. Like I, I I've been to a lot of country shows in my life. And oftentimes they do get out of hand. Sure. But that's one thing about the arena. Every time I've been to a country show up there, most times smooth sailing, you know? Yeah. I, I, I didn't even hear about that incident. Qu- well, quarantine, people were locked up, didn't have nothing to do, so they thought they'd be extra wild, which we encourage drink responsibly. Sure. Some people don't like to be responsible, and yeah. that leads to them not acting like adults, which leads them to having to leave the arena. That so. Which leads to Josh Kessler pulling in a clothesline. That's line, it. Uh, a drop yes. kick from the top Leg rope. drop yeah. from the bar. Yeah. Just a fin- finishing L- little, move. Literally... Me and Larry Miller were at the right place at the right time. Yeah. Larry's always at the right place at yeah. the right time. You notice that? Yeah, he is. He's, he's he like Clark Kent. It. Yeah. He really is. I call him Superman. Now, Larry, I wouldn't mess with. Yeah. I'm yeah. with you. Ain't he ex Murray? Yeah. yeah. He's, uh, you know, thank yeah. you. Thank you for your service, Larry. Yeah. yeah. Good man. That hair, man. man. That head, that head blinds you before you, you like you're going into war with him. Boom. Blind you and then he takes you down. <laughs> it's like it's like a flashbang. Secret. That's a secret <laughs> weapon. Yeah. He's don't the look at the head. But we are pretty lucky in that we don't have a ton of problems. We don't. we don't. For as many people yeah. Yeah. that are gathered together, lots of people drinking, you know, the potential is there, but, you know, we knock on wood. Yeah. Don't have too many issues. We have yeah. really good fans. We really do. Well, I was going to say, like, the, the people around the area, you know, they, they, mm-hmm. they, they know, I think that they just realize how lucky they are to have these great shows that no, y'all are course. pulling in here. Yeah. I mean, to have Jamie Johnson and Whiskey Myers, the last big country show that y'all had, heck, that was a great yeah. show. Yeah. And we're just lucky to have good entertainment like that and lucky to have guys and gals like y'all up there at the arena Thank bringing you. us good entertainment like appreciate that. that. Yeah, and it's great on our end just to see the concourse full again, see people coming out to yeah. these shows. and Eating, uh, drinking, having yeah. a good time. 
Yeah. We missed Have it. kids. Everybody missed it. I mean, if you know, yeah, man. the social mm-hmm. aspects of it. You know, everybody missed being able to go out and have a good time. Dark year. Yeah. Very really dark was. Year. Yeah. But yeah. now, I mean, the light is shining. And we were sitting here going over the events that y'all got coming up here. I mean, there's quite a lot. There's a lot. Yeah. And, and there's another one coming up the 26th, right? We're announcing July 26th. We're announcing a show that's going to lead into the following day will be Hoptoberfest. So October 2nd is Hoptoberfest, which we encourage you to do that. That's going to be a great time. Craft beer. This man over here is working with the beer crew to bring that, bringing all the good, delicious beer, tasty beers. Ten sample tickets, thirty dollars. Uh, but the day before that, we're going to have a really good country show that'll lead. They'll make oh, you nice. want to stay all weekend. So you'll want to go ahead and reserve your hotel at the Holiday Inn, the Hampton Inn, all the local ho- hotels. Reserve it because it's coming. So October first and second, make I, it a weekend. I was hoping it'd be a country show. Man, I, I, I love Hoptoberfest. I mean, like, because I mean, I, I'm like me and him were talking about IPAs earlier. I'm not a very big IPA IPA guy because I just don't know much about them and craft beers and stuff like that. I don't know a yeah. lot about them. So whenever you get to go to an event like Hoptoberfest and you actually get to sample all of these drinks and you don't have to pay a fortune for it like you would just going into some random bar, I mean, it, it's it's a great way to learn more about some adult beverages you may end up liking. This man is like an encyclopedia of the beverages too. So when he's like talking about when i taste something and i'm like oh this this tastes okay it tastes good yeah. he's like well it's got a hint of caramel with a twist of lemon and rah, rah, rah. like he gets into a all i pinky all out. i had to say was i like ciders and he's like oh you like this this yes, this this, yes. this. Well, i'm like with his pinky well, out I'm like man i don't know how to spell well, okay. half of what you just said well first of all let me go on record and say that was an exaggerated impersonation <laughs> of me i definitely don't do that but yeah i mean i think a lot of times especially you know craft beers picking up uh, some steam in eastern Kentucky and I think going into a liquor store for like your common beer drinker I think it can make your head spin because there's so many varieties yeah um, so just being able to try some of these craft beers and kind of understanding what style you like and stuff like that can go a long way in, in helping you get a little bit deep listen there's local breweries one of the best breweries in Kentucky right now is on Main Street in Pikeville. No, I agree with that, 100%. They're mm-hmm. making unbelievable beer. I like that. Broken Throne? Yeah, Broken Throne. Yeah. Shout out to those guys. Yeah. Um, I mean, they're really, really doing it down there. I mean, they're ma- they've are they hit home runs with five or six of the beers that they've made. Yeah. They're phenomenal. Th- that's that's all I've heard about the place. Well, that and the burgers. That's all I yeah. hear anybody yeah. talking about was how good the drinks are and how good the burgers are. I'm yeah. sure they have like a lot more good food down there, but they the do. burgers are... People love their fries. They like their chicken. They got good chicken sandwiches. Mm-hmm. They got a little bit of everything. Did you hear that, Matt? We're loving you. You want to be our friend and hug us. Well, and what it comes down Sorry. to is uh, with a lot of craft breweries, and I'm sure you've seen it with like Country Boy, they market themselves great. Yeah, you course. see people with Country Boy hats, shirts, the whole, yeah. and they do make good beer. So don't get me wrong. Of but that's what it comes down to is the quality of the product that they're making. And Broken Throne is just making a phenomenally good product and right here in Pikeville. Yeah, and two right across the road from yeah. the arena. Yeah. I mean, like you literally just take a few steps and you're at the arena. Yeah. You could tumble. <laughs> yeah. And maybe trip on a curb and be right inside. That's fact. Hey, hey, but don't they do like live music up there on the uh, that wooden deck too? I think they I think they've done that. A They're few doing times. live yeah, music in there. Been. I don't know. I, I think they do it sometimes inside, maybe sometimes yeah. outside. But they're definitely doing live music, and that's something that yeah. I think they're going to continue to do. Um, whether it be there or, or somewhere else yeah. on, on Main Street. But they do live music currently, yeah. I think, two days a week. Every Wednesday, I know for a fact they do live music. We try music. to line up, too. They work with us very well yeah. to the fact that, hey, we got Main Street Live or we got motorcycles on Main. They, mm-hmm. you know, they be like, okay, we're open. We got this. We're not going to have music yeah. the same night as you got. They're, they're really good about that. Yeah. I mean, and, they're working. With and us. Casey, who is the brewer there, and Jamie, who's uh, the manager. Over the manager, yeah. You know, Jamie, shout um, out Shout to you know, they're going to be part of the Mountain Girl experience, which I know people, won't, this won't come out till after that's over. They're brewing a beer for that. They're going to be brewing a beer for Hoptoberfest. They're going to kind of be, you know, we want to be really Kentucky-centric with the beers that we bring in for Hoptoberfest. We want God. all those to be... Using them big words again. Well, we want it to be as local as possible. You know, we want people to experience some of this beer being made in the state that they live in. But like... So is, is IPA and craft beer the same thing? Sure. IPA is just a style of beer. IPA stands for India Pale Ale. I had no uh, idea. Yeah. So oh. it's just 
a style of beer. Just like a lager or a uh, Hefeweizen, which we were talking about. You don't have to call about. me that name, Wes. It's just a style of beer. <laughs> Told you I'm working Wait. on it, man. Don't be calling me a Hefeweizen. It, it, in, what do you say? Indian Pell? India Pell L. India Pell yeah. L. So you've got India Pell L's, and then you've got regular just Pell L's. See An IPA is kind of what you were talking about. Uh, the, you know, the flavor profile. And there's so many different ones, it's hard to nail it down and say, this is what an IPA tastes like. You worry about that, and he's calling you Hefemeister. I don't know what's happening. Hefemeister. <laughs> I mean, I don't even know what's happening. Hey, he, he was saying some stuff earlier, man. I don't, I don't even know how to spell he half speaks what he's like, saying. Literally, he speaks like another language, but it's like... It's like a, Man, you're a smooth but, talker. Well, but what are like, like what's no. some of like the key differences between like IPAs and craft beers versus just the regular beer that you get at any bar or Walmart, like what? Bud Light, Budweiser, yada yada yada. Uh, there's a lot. I mean, obviously, you know, the big thing that jumps out to just the common person, I think, is the the alcohol by volume ABV is. Typically a lot higher on an IPA, and it's just the process in which the beer's made, the style of hops. There's a bunch of different types of hops that go in and grains that go into making these beers. So it really just, hmm. it, it's it's super complex. I mean, it's not something I can just say, here's the difference. It's obviously yeah. the way that things taste. Are you basic you know? or are you hoppy? Uh, a lot of people do like IPAs, but I, I'm the type of person... I, you know, I can have one IPA. I think they sit a little bit heavy. I, I'm more of a fan of you know other styles of beer, but I'm um, more of a cider guy. Typically, I IPAs. Yeah, yeah, I'm a big cider guy. That's yeah. what I was telling him earlier. IPAs can typically be like we were talking about earlier, a little bit bitter. Some of them have a little bit of a citrusy kind of flavor to them. So it just depends on the IPA. None of them are the same. I mean, they're all very different. Yeah, and it's that, it's complex. I get it. Yeah, and that's why like it's just like really blew my mind of going into the process because I, I love to try new beers and stuff like that. But whenever it comes to IPAs, you, 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 and, and I know they have to be a little bit more expensive because of the process, and I totally get that. But it's hard to pay that much money for something that like you're it's. It's hard to understand even what you're reading on sure. the bottle, and that's why an event like Hoptoberfest yeah. is so great to me because you get to actually try and figure it out for yourself at a much lower cost than mm-hmm. going to the store, going to a bar and just going in there blind all yeah. willy nilly. And also, you're getting to talk to the people that crafted yeah. mm-hmm. the product as well. You're not just talking to some cashier that, that's, right. that they're just there working. You're actually getting to learn about the process We're and learn more about year. it. Aren't we? Aren't we the... Aren't we, the, aren't we working the... October first. Yes. Yeah. Of yeah course. We're the we're the ones pouring, right? Yeah, our staff will pour, but we also have representatives yeah. from whatever breweries we bring in. Yeah. Uh, we'll tell you all about it. Yeah, we're yeah. going to have 50 different styles of beer. Um, Did you hear that, folks? 50. And last year, I think lot. we had around 80 or 90, which was a, a few too many. I mean, it was hard to go around and taste everything when you have 90 different beers. Yeah. Um, but uh, from last year, I think, you know, we probably had 25 ciders. Uh, I'm sure mm. there'll be 10, 15, ciders. 20 different ciders and and different types of uh, beer that are similar to ciders because a lot of times these days you see fruit L's and fruit infused lagers and, and different stuff like that. So it's not always just ciders, but we'll have, you know, tons of that stuff. Yeah. And the people, representatives from the brewery who can, you know, talk about you know, each different style and, you know, let you taste some of the stuff. What are ticket prices going to be like for Hot Tower so Fest this year? For 10 tickets, it's $30, 10 sampling tickets. So that's the that's the only price. Yeah. We're only doing one price. But what's really cool about it is we're going to have food as well. And, you know, shout out to, of course, Double Quick. You're all a big Double Quick fan. We oh, yeah. are. Love Double Quick. They're, they're presenting that for us. And they're going to have their food truck with pizza rolls and chicken to nice. be able to sell too, so nice. they they got it covered on the food side, and we got it covered on the drink side. Yeah, yeah, because yeah. I mean you gotta eat something to sober up a little uh, bit. Yeah, but sure. can, but can you buy? I mean, like it's I, I don't know if anybody's going to go through all ten tickets, but let's say that somebody does have a tolerance mm-hmm. and can go through ten. There'll tickets. be a price for for yeah, extra. Tickets. You can buy yeah. extra okay. tickets, and, and you, when you're talking, you're talking about getting a sampling glass, so you're not getting a pint glass yeah. to walk around with. So you know, ten what four ounce samples is a little different than drinking 10 full pint beers. Yeah. So. Yeah. You're yeah. not going to feel as wobbly. But it's a great way to spend a Saturday afternoon. Yeah. Hot Fest is a blast. We had the year, obviously, couldn't do it last year because of COVID. Yeah. The year before that, the weather was perfect. Yeah. It was a great time. 
This is gonna be it's, it's, it's a blast. It really is. I yeah, that's why I love, well, I, the name Hoptober Fest. I know that's why y'all do it in October, but I love that y'all do it then because it's not hot. It's not mm-hmm. cold. It's the perfect time of no, year. Yeah. yeah. So, so what else is uh, coming on at the arena? So we got the only Kentucky date for Alice Cooper Ace Frehley, October 5th. That's going to be exciting. You definitely don't want to miss that one. Um, REO Speedwagon, August 28th. It's going to be awesome. 40th Anniversary High Infidelity Tour with Kip Winger. August 25th, the Globetrotters, and they're revamping everything. Of course, we talked about the trying to get an NBA team in Vegas. Yeah, random. Still don't know about that. But I know. It they're is what it they're is. feeling hoppy, I guess. Um, Wait, what? What? Yeah, yeah the, the, the Globetrotters, Globetrotters are trying to get an NBA team. Yeah, how, how is that fair? They're, they're actually putting they're that's doing like, petitions to get an NBA team. That's like the that's like the Lakers joining like elementary yeah, uh, basketball well, uh, teams. I mean, like it, it's it don't make any sense. They're so good, you know. Uh, uh, it's, yeah. it's, it's it's like Jeff Gordon going down to like a, a local Literally. dirt right, right. track or yeah. something, you know, yeah. like blowing people away. Yeah. I mean, Sorry, I didn't mean to stop no, the momentum no, no, you're there. Fine. I just no, no, that no. one. I yeah. didn't know that. Yeah, it's, I said the same thing whenever he mentioned to me. I'm like, how is that? They're fair? making moves. They're gonna play the Washington Generals every night. I, they're gonna probably beat up on LeBron. I hope. Mm. Don't go uh, LeBron's uh, head. It's not gonna be hard. No, I know. Oh, he broke his ankle. No, yeah, he just got a bone bruise. He's Don't good. Get me started on he's LeBron. out for six to eight weeks. Did I say that? I'm sorry. Is there any like actual LeBron fans? Like everybody I used to be is just a his acting killed me in this new Space Jam movie. I mean, I I know Michael Jordan's not a great actor, but he beat LeBron. LeBron, yeah, guess so. Yeah, so that's what I've heard from everybody, and it's kept me from watching the movie. Yeah. I loved the original, and I'm just so nervous about you going back to the process. Bugs Bunny, you don't hurt Bugs Bunny reputation. Yeah, LeBron. <laughs> Get out of here with I, that. I, I've heard, I've heard some good things then too, but I don't know, man. I'm, mm. I'm iffy about going to see the new Space Jam, yeah, and it I sucks, man, because I was so excited. Mm. Does Michael like make any appearance at all? No, no. He don't there was a tease. Yeah. There was a tease, but it didn't happen, um, which I was Dang. hoping it would happen. Um, and there's some cool little. When, when, I'm not going to give anything away, but when they're playing, of course, in the little arena that they're outdoor arena there's a couple of cameos from like a batman and robin kind of thing and like a wizard okay. of oz like weird characters showing up on the sidelines which is kind of cool yeah, um, beetlejuice showed that. up like there's just random you know they're, they try to make it at least interesting now i have heard the beetlejuice they might be making a second beetlejuice. i'm waiting for that one that michael keaton cool. if you don't do michael keaton you get get yeah, out the door I, right now I, i've heard that michael is like he's on board with it Stop. if they do that do rubs it. me the wrong way you, you're rubbing what? me the wrong way beetlejuice is such a great movie leave it alone yeah I agree, I agree with that but if michael keaton wants to do it again he can do it but, but it, has has to, it has to have Keaton, though. I mean, yeah, it I, if it's not Michael to. Keaton, then yeah. I'm not wasting my money. Not Johnny on. Depp. I know it's been talked about. I don't care. Michael Keaton. Yeah, you got to have Michael Keaton. I mean, I, like, even Johnny couldn't save Willy Wonka in the no. Chocolate yeah, Factory. You know, so, like, no. nobody talks about Charlie and the no. Chocolate, whatever it was called. That I feel was the same way weird. about Space Jam. They should have left that alone. It's a huge part of my childhood. I, I love that movie I when I was growing up. Or put The Rock in there as a character. Make the rock. To, he can I'd actually take anybody act. over LeBron. I would too. Yeah. I, I don't. I've not met like, any like actual LeBron fan. I would take Wally Serbiak over LeBron James. A hundred percent. Yeah. Wally's the, the guy. I mean, yeah. I'm not a sports dude. So anyway, I don't know who y'all talking about? If you would have talked to me three years ago, I would be in here defending LeBron James. Yeah, he's I would have been. He's too. lost me. He lost me too. Yeah, he's he lost. used to have a fan. I used to be his fan. He's I, the know, worst. I, a fan I can acknowledge now. now he is the worst. Who do you think is going to be like the next big one though after LeBron? Because I mean, well, we lost Kobe, you know, yeah. and who else is there? I think Giannis. Yeah, I mean, yeah. he just won a title with the Milwaukee Bucks. Yeah, I know. The Milwaukee Bucks are the NBA champions. That's an insane. Just statement. think about that, Lou Alcindor, Oscar Robinson. Well, before he changed his name to Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, right. but that was the team that won it. Yeah. And then you got this team. Years. God, man, that gives me chills thinking about that. I mean, there's always just teams that you feel like will never win, yeah. and that was one of those teams to me. And then all of a sudden, they won an NBA champion. Yeah. So, but who Milwaukee. Knows? Yeah, Milwaukee. Milwaukee. Yeah, I didn't think they had basketball. Yeah, you never hear anything. The Bucks, about Bucks, baby. The Bucks. Exactly. Hey, I like the upset. It was an upset. Yeah. They're your world champions. Hey, Milwaukee. 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 Isn't that what Alice what? Cooper says in yeah. uh, Wayne's World? Yeah, We're not Milwaukee. Milwaukee. I'm doing that. By the way, I told you I'm doing it. You, you if, if, if you don't, then I'm going to be very disappointed. Oh, I'm going to. I'm going to have somebody yeah. film it. I'm he say probably I'm gets that every. Oh, you know. <laughs> does. I hope he curb stomps me. I really hope so. Hope he just takes his boot, his little size. 
eight shoe and just shoves it. You think he's a size eight? I think he's got a tiny foot. I bet Alex got bigger feet than eight. Let's take bets. He's got a tiny foot. I think Alex might be short. How tall do you think Alex is? At least five six. No, I'm giving him way more than that. I'm giving him five six. I'll say five nine. I'm gonna say he's at least six feet tall, and he's probably a size eleven or twelve shoe. He's got a big old foot on him. No, size eight, guarantee He's a little guy. Anybody with that level of confidence he ain't got, got these a size big old 13s foot. on him. Five ten. Oh. what size shoe? Look it up. I gonna tell you. <laughs> I wonder if they have That's that. That's probably generous. If he was a basketball player, they'd list him as six three. Probably. <laughs> We're probably the only people that have looked up Alice Cooper's size shoe size in forever. Yeah, we gotta know. It's a ten. Really? Is that that's not that big? I thought no. twelve. I yeah. mean, I'm over 13 and 5'11s. I mean, you know, we yeah, well, I got, I, yeah, I wear 12, 13. I bet it's shrunk. Now. You know, Alice, well, I ain't going to go into that. That's I'm not. Say. Yeah. He's probably but, lost some bone mass over the years. I, I mean, but that man is still, what, how old did you say he the, was I think earlier? he's 79. The God, listen, he's the Godfather of shock. Leave him alone. Yeah. Listen. 73. But I mean, I'm, still. But I mean, like. How's Willie Nelson? Well, Ozzy, he's one year older than Ozzy. And look, look at Ozzy. Okay. Ozzy and, and look like at Alice. Keeper. Yeah. Look at Alice, Alice is yeah. still rocking it, cutting his head off on yeah. stage. Like. I mean, like, he's older than Ozzy Osbourne, and he is in far better shape. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's a miracle Ozzy's still kicking, right? Yeah. Him, oh, was, uh, him and Keith Richards. Oh, yeah. Keith uh, Richards will never uh, die. I actually, I think he's getting younger. Shine. Benjamin <laughs> Button. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so excited about that show, man. I, I'm, I'm just exci- as excited about Al- uh, Ace the, as yeah. I am Alice. Yeah, it's going to be Ace an is a great opener. Show. I mean, and then like I said too, Kip Winger with Aria, that's a great opener. Yeah, see, yeah, I'm uh, really excited. Uh, Whiskey about Myers too. with Jamie Johnson was a great opener. Dude. Yeah, I told y'all that last time I mean, y'all were up yeah. here. Like, like y'all's openers are just as good as the yeah. headlines now. Whiskey Myers, next was level, unbelievable. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I didn't get to see much of the. Uh, we didn't, but we heard through the curtains that they, they I mean, they, they get the great. crowd going. Yeah, they were yeah. great. Well, I mean, like, that's what, whenever I went down to Georgia, like, that's all my cousins were listening to is Whiskey Myers. Mm-hmm. You know, it's, I, I love the new style of country yeah. that's, that's coming into yeah. to play here. Well, you got Jamie Johnson. Now, I'm not making fun of Jamie Johnson, but I mean, as far as energetic on stage, I should have seen it in her. This is him, like, with his long hair. Just imagine me with long hair and a big giant beard and, you know, singing like this. Well, I, yeah, the, the, the I mean, great guy, great voice. Yeah. But Whiskey Myers, of, man, woo, smack your mama. What's yeah, well, I mean, that, that this new style of country, man, it's so it, it really gives me like this style of country yeah. vibe. I like it's that. it's so outlaw, just no yeah. f's given yeah. in your face. F's. This is our opinion. Eli's dropping the, the, the f's. f's. One, it's yeah. more relatable songwriting, like. You know. Well, that, that's that's what I loved about the outlaw country is the yeah. is how it was relatable. It told a story. It yeah. wasn't just about in my pickup truck with the Georgia paint. So my shagging yeah. wagon. It's yeah, the absolute worst. In my shagging yeah. wagon. I, well, the, my like dually. I, all these all the country songs of, of the last <laughs> decade, if, if not more. I mean, it's it's all about a pickup truck, a nice girl, yeah. and beer. Girl that, breaks my heart. Yeah, yeah that, that, drink me a beer in my dually. That's, we'll gun it. The, that's all we'll it's right, But back in these days, whenever you had Willie Nelson or Waylon Jennings, uh, Johnny Paycheck, those yeah. guys, I mean, you had songs like The Family Bible. You had songs like yeah. Luke and Bach, Texas. Yeah. I mean, uh, Blue Eyes Crying in the Rain. Blue like, Eyes Crying It, it had in the rain. substance. Yeah, there was a story yeah. Yeah. that behind it. And whenever it comes to Whiskey Myers and Jason Isbell and Billy Strange, stories. Sturgill Simpson, Tyler Childers, yeah. it's all story-driven. Yeah. You don't hear any of that crap that you hear it's, on regular country radio yeah. whenever whenever with these new artists. Yeah. And I love what, it. What, where did Florida Georgia Line come from? I thought they were dead. Like like their music was done and here they come with Nelly again. What the heck, man? Yeah, I have to throw it out there. Uh, yeah. And it, If you haven't seen any of the Wheeler Walker Jr. Uh, reviews of Florida Georgia Line's <laughs> no, albums on that. YouTube, it's oh, fantastic. Uh, yeah, I'm with I you there. Yeah. I love Wheeler Walker oh, Jr. Though. Wheeler Walker is hilarious, right. number one. 100%. The Morgan Wallen <laughs> apology video Video that he did, he like you know. Spoofs. It's not for kids to watch, yeah, by no, the way. No, well, no Willie not for Walton, kids. The kids shouldn't even know who that yeah, is. Yeah, you shouldn't. Well, if you're, under, I'm sure there yeah. are some kids. And he's from Lexington, is. by the way. Yeah. Random. Wheeler Walker Jr. Not, Kentucky. Not yeah, yeah. yeah you kind of see it though, don't you? It makes sense. It makes sense now. Yeah. But I would never have thought that. Yeah. Dang. Big Kentucky guy. Yeah. Kentucky huh. basketball fan. Mm. From like Did you know mm. that uh, two of the Backstreet Boys are yeah. from Kentucky? Yeah. 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 Did yeah. not know. I think one is from Lexington. Kevin and uh, Brian? 
Of course he knows thought? their names. <laughs> man, I know music. Get out of this. You hating on my boy band? This? No, I'm. I'm free Britney, sure bro. I'm free Britney. Yeah. I free want Britney. it that I'm way. That. It's an amazing song. You got to yeah. give it to him. And I was more, the Backstreet Boys had some bands. Tell me that way. Tell, tell me why ain't nothing but a heartache. Tell me why. It's, it's it's I mean, you I can't mean deny stay. that it's a great song. <laughs> The Backstreet Boys had some bangers, and shout out to Kentucky. Yeah, Did you Kentucky see that? Guys. I ain't shame. I'll so sing for you. I can't y'all both hit a nice little falsetto there. Thanks. I liked it. Hit a little snap too. I, I, I think we have a boy band starting here. At least a barbershop <laughs> quartet. The beginnings of a barbershop quartet. Hopefully that becomes a big thing again. Yeah. I would love to see that come back. Yeah. I would love to see you pioneer yes. that. Can I keep you? I think we need to make this. I we yeah. if y'all if, if y'all <laughs> book if y'all book the Backstreet Boys, we can oh, be the opening yeah. group. Send your mail to Paul at AppWirelessArena.com and Larry at AppWirelessArena.com. I'm probably going to get fired because it's gathering emails. <laughs> nah, that's fine. But nice knowing me. Yeah. They'll be all right. People won't remember it. Yeah, it's... But <sighs> getting canceled. But I mean, like, really, man, y'all have had some great shows. And I know that y'all are still announcing some other stuff coming down Dude, the pipes. good stuff coming. As long as everything stays normal in this world, we're up. fingers are crossed. Yeah. As long as everything stays normal, we... <laughs> Please. What, what, one one thing that I've always loved talking <laughs> talking with y'all about whenever it comes to the artists that y'all bring in is the writers. Mm. Like, like for, for the for the people that don't know what a writer is, like ex- explain that. It's pretty much a list that the the artist sends out of what they need, what they're looking for. Usually, some kind of BS random. This that's in there: red skittles, orange skittles, yellow skittles. It's it's essentially a grocery shopping yeah, list that they want on hand yeah. at the arena, and I think to stock their bus with. Because yeah. usually they're on tour and yeah, for well, the I mean, next, like, well, next J- stop. Jamie Johnson ain't going to go inside Walmart and go sure. grocery shopping. Yeah. You know, that's just. Yeah. That's I ain't picking up my bourbon from. You're gonna get it for me, buddy. Yeah, yeah. Like the dude will get mugged. Yeah, you know? yeah. that's just how it is. Mm-hmm. So well, I don't know about Jamie Johnson, but. Uh, might mug somebody. Well, yeah. Then they all have, you know, just an advance list that they send uh, to the venue. And, you know, we There's can go. There's some newsies usually. Yeah, we don't yeah. see anything, like, no. insane. There's been some good ones. Been some good ones. What's, what's been? We talk, we talk about a few. We won't say any names. I mean, we did have to make a, a full-size stand-up of a certain golden girl. Golden girl. In her skivvies. No, not even in her I skivvies. I mean, well, just completely. Bare, just, bare, just, just bare. Boom. Ba- bone dry. Let's just call it bone dry. It was Which bone was dry. the funniest request, yeah. for sure. I still yeah. have a, a the, photo that, that, that of it. That was B. Arthur, office. wasn't it? B. Yeah. Arthur. Shout out to B. Arthur, who's really Is doing it. On Betty, B. Arthur's head on Betty Page's body. Yeah, Betty Page, yeah. yeah. Kids, do not look up these names. Yeah. Stop. <laughs> not a lot Mothers, of, fathers, stop your kids. Well, I'm assuming yeah. there's not a lot of B. Arthur nudes floating no, around No, no, that's Betty Page, though. Don't that's be fair. looking at that one. Yeah, don't be looking at Betty Page. <laughs> stop. We had, to do, we had to do evidence to get this all printed out. Yeah. Who done that one, though? Mm, I mean, I don't know. Can we? I mean... Starts with it's a T and a, ends with a C. Like, it's a pretty well known thing that yeah. he, he that this is part of his rider everywhere he goes, uh, and it's just a funny thing. And like I was telling them before, I don't think it's so much about asking for like insane or having insane requests. I think it's so that they know that the venue or whoever's doing this is paying, paying attention. attention. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and, and that makes sense. You know, sure. Tells how many runners I need, sure. of course, stuff like that. The the lighting, the equipment, all that stuff. It tells everything in the room. Here's one thing I do know. Here's the mark of true success, Here and I'm gonna let you know. Here it's goes. Fiji water. When you mm. when Fiji you can water. drink Fiji water wait. and not worry about what you're paying for it, you've made it. When, when so, so, so wait, do y'all have to pay for it? Does the artist end we up pay for it. it? Okay, we buy fair. it. When you drink Fiji water and don't know, don't worry about you threw some money there. You are drinking it and you enjoying it. You made it. Yeah. When That's still water, water though, or Aquafina Doesn't or any of those, just or even just spring water isn't Doesn't good enough. It. You've made it. Man, like, I used to be one of those people like, oh, water is water. That's no, not true. No, yeah. it's not. Like, if, yeah. you get a, if you get a bottle of Dasani and then you get a bottle of Fiji water, there is a very yeah. distinct Vast difference. Vast difference. Yeah. And mm. like, smart water, I drink that smart water quite a bit. Yeah. Because I, I can afford that much I like easier the, than uh, I can afford body, Fiji. I'm a body armor guy. No body armor? You like the body armor? Mm-hmm. No? 
It's got mm. lots of electrolytes in it. I man, definitely that, in Fiji guy. But they, they got. I can't it's good Fiji. water. Fiji's great. Well, yeah, of course. I can't buy Fiji water. But we get left oh, yeah, Fiji right. water yeah, sometimes. Yeah, yeah. So I drink it, and it's great water. Wes mm. likes to go out to his pool, pull his hammock out, lay have in a, there, and drink his Fiji. Ice cold Fiji. There has to be somebody that has a pool full of Fiji water. So for sure. That would be. Crushed ice, not Jeff Bezos. But the, the good ice, that like the, the little, like yeah. the circular yeah. the barrels. Fast food ice. Yeah. Right? Yeah. He, don't, he don't do that cube stuff. Yeah. Anyway, is that what they call it, barrel ice? Yeah, it's like it looks like a little barrel. Is that I've what never knew about? what. Wait, like, I thought yeah. it was called chip dice, chips. I think like, dust like, chips. like a little circular. Yeah, it's like ones? a little cylinder almost, like a little. Somebody's going to send us hate mail. Barrel saying, ice. That ain't what it's called. I'm going to look it up. And I've you can actually that, get. I just always call it the good ice. Yeah, yeah that's the good ice to me. And you can get molds for your freezer at home that actually make that barrel of uh, the good ice if that's what you're talking about i don't know like you go to these gas stations double quick yeah it. double quick has that's yeah is that that call it that's that's barrel that's ice? what i call it i don't know what, what i, I like typed to in t- barrel ice and of course it's just barrels full of ice all good <laughs> <laughs> definitely not called barrel ice then. i thought it was called like chip ice or i chips. don't know i always call it barrel Chipped ice. ice i see a barrel Chipped. ice maker excuse ice. you chipped ice i don't think it's chipped ice either wait it might be. Nugget. Yeah. Nugget ice? What? You better stop Chip, that. Maybe chipped it's ice. chipped ice. That doesn't sound right. I don't, know, I don't know if right. this is ice or like meth or I don't know what I'm looking at at what? this point. <laughs> it could be either one. I've, 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 I watched every episode of Breaking Bad. Okay? Yeah, that's that's sure. Sure. This is what Walter to. White looks like he was cooking up there. Shout yeah. out to Breaking Bad. I don't even think out. it was chipped ice because it don't Man, look neither. like it. Chipped ice, I think like shaved ice, like. You know what I mean? Like a there's, snow cone. There's somewhere listening to this show is an ice snob who's saying, I hate you guys. They don't even canceled. know. They don't I, even know. I put in circle ice, and that don't pop anything up. What is this ice I just called? call it barrel ice because they look like little barrels. Do they not? You know we're drinking your coffee? Yeah. Mocha chocolate latte, yeah, yeah. Nope. Just I'm regular on, old I'm on coffee. I'm going the good ice. Mm. Okay, here it is. The good ice. What is it? What is the good ice? I'm making noise. Oh, it's, it's back there. I thought it was a the fire building's alarm. Going, the building's going to blow up. So. Evacuate, Josh. I'm going to go out the window. Josh jumps out the what window. What is it? Pellet ice. Pellet, Pellet. That's, that's it. That sounds that's right. It. That's it. Yes. Pellet Sorry, ice. Sorry, people who are obsessed with ice. Yeah, shout out to Pellet Ice, too. Shout that's out the to good, the That's the good stuff. Almost Pellet cursed. Ice. You know, I've actually called him something else, and I can't say it on the radio, but something involves rats. I can see that. The T word. What if, like, you got like Turf. a pellet ice machine and put like some food coloring in it, and like, <gasps> yeah, that that's kind of that's that, marketable. That's aggressive. I like it. I like, I like it. what you did with that. I, I, Look I would at you. I would drink it. See, I, I can I can be your senior marketing director. Help. There you go. Look at that. Assistant so, like, to the senior marketing director. <laughs> exactly. Look at that. Oh, I like man. I, I, but I, I do think the mullet competition idea at country concerts. We're doing that this? would be a good. We're gonna thing. do the. Oh, we're gonna do this live on the air. We're gonna do the mullet competition. But hey, sure, they, they, I'm down. There, there's, there's, like a, yeah. there's like a there's like a mullet fest. Yeah, it's uh, a big deal. That, I don't like, feel like somewhere. mine would be wavy and blowy in the Not wind. Not like with fans. Oh, yeah, like, like the fans that come in. I thought about me and Wes too. Well, you, I mean, y'all can enter too. But I mean, there's some people out there with some dang good you mullets, right man. Yeah, there's some great ones. Like, there's people been working on them for years. Mm-hmm. Take it real serious. Yeah, it takes some time. That's not like an overnight thing. You got to put some effort into growing a mullet, especially if you want to make it look good. Yeah. I mean, like you got to dress that thing. Sure. Mine's gonna be just, oily. You got to get it wavy. Yeah, I don't. I don't think I have wavy hair. Just yeah. put, some, put some perm in it. I ain't yeah. got no volume, bud. Put a little activator in there. I got yeah. thick hair. Yeah, just it's a thick boy a summer. <laughs> I mean, I don't even know what to say to that. <laughs> Hell and I. So I'm glad we nailed that down. Yeah. I feel much better. You figured it out. Hell it. So, so with the elite catering, is there anything that like new that y'all have added to y'all's menu I mean, since then? Since last time we talked? Yeah, I mean we. So what we try to do is we try not to operate on a base menu. Like if you go into a restaurant, you see the menu, that's what you can order. That's it. Uh, we have a base menu of things that people order a lot that we send out, but we try to basically tailor it to whatever it is that you want. We try not to say no to anything. So um, 
have we added new items sure i mean we always it's kind of an ever-changing uh thing but uh you know if you come to us and you have an idea or if there's not something on our base menu uh that jumps out at you uh, we're always going to try to work with you and make sure you get exactly what you want you still got the pizza puffs yeah of course that's nice. concession stuff so i mean concessions food for you know the Man, stuff. if i if i done an event with y'all like that's yeah. that's what i would get is yeah. all, all pizza puffs. yeah you you saw my guests would eat you've had the uh you've had the uh concession food a lot so that's a little bit different than uh the stuff that we do for catering but if you came and said hey i want soft pretzels and pizza puffs and nachos and stuff like that at my event we could absolutely uh, well, make that happen. Nacho cheese. Well, what types of like food are we talking about though? With like elite uh, catering, like, what's some of the items that somebody might see on one of these Sure, we do lots of different stuff. We do heavy appetizers, so you can come and get you know chicken tenders or potato skins. We do a brisket potato skin, uh, spinach artichoke dip, bar food type of stuff, and then we also do you know more. Um, Regular entrees, filet mignon, What's seared that? salmon. Uh, you do meatloaf? Yeah, we can do meatloaf. I mean, we don't get a whole lot of people asking for meatloaf. I just wedding. know you make good meatloaf. Meatloaf is a good. tough food to eat in a wedding dress. You know what I mean? True. We do a lot of weddings. True. You don't want ribs or meatloaf or, you know, it's kind of sloppy. Go but, all out, balls. Back you know, out. we do fillet, we do lobster, salmon. I mean, like I said, we really don't limit ourselves to much of anything. But that's probably we do more chicken tenders than raising canes. I mean, me and my crew make more chicken tenders and more ranch dressing. I would say than anybody I, around. I mean, we go through it like crazy. You gotta have ranch. Well, right? have ranch. Y- y'all have some good chicken tenders, man. Well, whenever I do a uh, wedding ranch. at. Uh, the uh, event center or at the arena. Mm-hmm. I typically don't like to eat at weddings because mm-hmm. I don't. I don't know. I just. I kind of think that it's rude. I right. don't. I don't You're know. there working. Yeah. yeah you it's, don't be, it's, yeah. I feel weird going up there to the table whenever I'm paid to go there and supposed to be doing music. But man, I've tried y'all's chicken tenders. That's good chicken tenders. Well, we do. I mean, we make them a lot, and that's a, like a pretty universally loved thing, especially around here. People don't want chicken with a bone in it. You want, yeah. you want well, them chicken tenders. And, and too, I mean, like whenever you see like filet mignon, <laughs> like you just, we got country folk around here. Like, sure. What's that? Yeah. And it can be a little more pricey. I mean, they're, you know, we try. I don't, even, I don't think I've ever had filet mignon. Oh, what I'm is sure you filet have. mignon? It's beef tenderloin. You've had that. I thought it was chicken. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> no, it is not chicken. It, it is beef. I don't it think is I've beef. had it before. Oh, I'm had sure it. you've, you've had, it. had it. Probably. Are you a sirloin guy? Ribeye guy? I'm a ribeye guy, personally. I, I, I like sirloin. I like them both, man. I'm not picky ribeye. at all. I just like food. Yeah, same. Same. Me too. But, yeah, I mean, so that, that I would say we sell we sell and have people order way more beef tenderloin and way more chicken tenders than yeah. anything else. That's But that's not – we don't limit ourselves to anything. So yeah, I like well too, man. Sometimes people are just picky eaters too. But I, I, I oh, like yeah. lobster, I like salmon. Yeah. I'm gonna get that filet mignon next yeah, time. Yeah, man, try filet. But I'm telling you, it's it, ribeye is the best way to go in my opinion, just because the fat content is get a little a bit Boston higher. But mm. I've never tried the Boston butts either. That's also pork. I'm so, sorry. Okay. I is, it pork. A, is it a butt? No, it's not what a butt. It it's a, butt? a shoulder, but they call it a, a butt. butt. Yeah. Why do they call it a butt, though? I think just because it looks like a butt cheek. I don't know. I don't have a good I answer to that, but I'm assuming that's what it is, because when you pull a Boston butt out, it does look like a slab of Kessler. <laughs> <laughs> can't even can't good old even. slab of Kessler yeah, I love but it. yeah it, it's, it's love it I'm looking it up because these then, are the hard heading questions yeah. <laughs> then there's also like a picnic shoulder which okay. is bless you the butt actually comes from up front you can buy a whole pork shoulder at yeah. some grocery stores but more commonly you'll find the shoulder cut into two pieces this particular cut became known around the country as a New England specialty, and hence it became the Boston butt. Yeah, it's from the but, shoulder. Okay, though. okay, so yeah, I, yeah I guess the two shoulders put together looks yeah. like a butt. Yeah, it looks like two butt cheeks. <laughs> we we get to the hard hitting questions, and that's why I love now here. people know. Like, Hell and ice. We're, we're to the bottom yeah. of that one. See, this, this is what I like about we're these podcasts. Ground. They're informative. Yeah, we're you learn ground. something. Yeah. I'm learning more now than I ever did in high school. Yeah. You know about IPAs. Yeah. Pellet ice. 
Boston, Boston Butts. Butts. B. Arthur. B. Arthur. B. Arthur. Filet Mignon. Filet Mignon. Alice it's Cooper. not chicken. Alice Cooper. Alice yeah. Cooper, yeah. It, it's, it still blows my mind. That we that know man. what size shoe Alice Cooper wears. You I know what size I did when I woke up. Here, folks. Yeah. Like, like you, whenever Alice shows up, you can give him a pair of shoes and get the size Ooh. wrapped. Get him gator wrap shoes. Get him a pair of, like, Cousin Eddie's. Oh, the yeah. white, yeah. you know what I mean. I'm gonna give, I'm gonna get Al some New Balance. He's a New Balance guy, I guarantee it. I'm, I'm a New, new Balance. Balance. I bet guy. we can You're find what guy. kind of shoe he wears. Like, what's Alice Cooper's favorite shoe? I bet. It, I don't think he's a New Balance guy. I Gators. Bet, what's something that was popular in the '70s? Uh, you gonna limit him on that? <sighs> the Arthur Ashe uh, Adidas. Oh my God. Poor old Alice. Well, of course, it's going to say nothing but high heel shoes. High yeah. heel shoes. He probably likes a good platform with like a goldfish in the heel. You know what I'm talking about? Do they have shoes like I that? I have no idea. What but the heck right. did you just say? Goldfish? Yeah, like a fish tank. On platform shoes with a fish tank, a little fish in them. I'm looking this up, too. Yeah. Because, I mean, if, if that... Like, have I, you ever seen the movie, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to Get You Sucker? Am I have I lost the room? You've lost, okay. you totally lost right. the room. I don't think I've seen that before. You've yeah. my fly fly guy. You lost my mic. Wait. My mic's going down. It's Wait, going away. This that this might have been a thing. Fly guy. He was a pimp in the movie, and the he wore fish. platform shoes with a goldfish in them. Shout Wait. out. Whoa! So there were actual fish tank yeah. platform oh shoes in the 1970s. Yeah. I'm telling you. What? Alice would probably be so fired up to get a pair of those. Is Keep that, that mine? How do you feed the fish? Like, how does that work? I don't think I, I don't think you do. I think it was like oh, it was before no. PETA. We don't want PETA to <laughs> no. come after you. should definitely always take care of your animals if you purchase them. However, well, like, well what if you have like a fake fish, you know? Yeah, just and, a little, and still just like and still it looks like a little query and yeah, stuff like that. Oh, it was fake. You mm, get the it, effect. If it was fake, you're you're good. And then you have nothing to worry. Like I, like, I love animals. I'm a big Same. animal lover. Yeah, you got I would two, never hurt an animal. Got two rescue cats. Yeah. Yeah. Save them. Save yeah. lives. I, sure, I got three of them dang things. And hey. I, I, I love them. So I would be Three rescuers all, in here. If this became a thing, I would be all against I it. Have a dog. But if you put a fake Let's fish in it. there, I could wear them. I, I could wear a fake fish shoe. Yeah. But yes, these totally used to be a thing. That would be the showstopper if you walked into a DJ gig uh, if you With walked into anywhere, if you walked into Walmart, Eli, how does it feel to be a decent human being? Because we're decent human beings over here. <laughs> decent human beings. It's, Are you saying I'm not? I, know, I don't have great, a rescue. You're, 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 you're a great animal lover. I am an animal lover. You are. He is an animal lover. I he haven't rescued a, a cat. I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> save a cat, Wes. Are we rubbing save. it in? I'm happy for you all. <laughs> I saved a ferret yesterday. I, I saw, saw that. that. Yeah. Where'd yeah. you find a ferret? Just right here in the parking lot. Yeah, it's, ferret, it's, it's, was it? it's some house behind oh. us it was out a here. Feral ferret. Yeah, they. Uh, she had some kids, and the kids left the door open too long, I guess. And yeah, there's just ferret walking around. That's Cute crazy. little thing though. Ferrets walking the street, bulls. It's going down in here. kids. <laughs> but, but, but but whenever it comes to like the work that you do with elite catering, do you oh, yeah. do events outside of the arena in Overlook? Like let's say somebody's having like a party or something like that. Do you do those yeah, type of? Yeah, we do offsite. Uh, we do stuff in how obviously we do everything at the arena, mm. everything at the Overlook Event Center. Uh, we also do the Appalachian Center for the Arts, uh, App. and wow. then a lot of stuff that the city does there in downtown. But if you call and you have a uh, offsite event, uh, we do. Uh, we've done stuff for like drug reps taking lunch to a doctor's office. I didn't know where you're going with that. Uh, <laughs> I didn't know. Really. <laughs> Didn't know where you're going with that one. Legal <laughs> drug reps. Yeah, there you go. Uh, Certified drug reps. Yeah, people selling legal drugs. Yeah. We cater for them. But anybody, I mean, if as long as it's, you know, within a certain, like, reasonable radius, we'll deliver uh, wherever you need. It's not delivery. Yeah. It's uh, a catering. catered lunch or dinner or whatever. Have yep. we ever, like, Sorry gone in and on. done a dinner party at somebody's house? No, but we've delivered lunches to yeah. different offices and and stuff like that so man the the pictures y'all have on y'all's facebook page of y'all's food and the stuff that i've tried at weddings that y'all have hosted up there it is phenomenal well we we got to do a better job of taking those pictures but shout out to andrea collins she who does. is you know senior our director co-worker of yeah senior director of events and just a phenomenal photographer uh, she's the phenomenal. one that takes most of those pictures and yeah I mean, she's got some good ones i have a lazy eye 
I do too. I got I this one right here. Where did that come from? I mean, I can't what? make a good pitch. I go, oh, yeah. I literally uh, got my driver's license renewed, really and I thought I had a stroke. Oh, you can't like, yeah. take it's the a little picture sleepy. because you it, have it, a like, it, you This one over here right does, is like to go east to west for some reason. And this one over here is just, hi, I'm here for the party. This I, one over here is not. I'm the same way, man. That's why I have to wear these dang glasses. It's all for this lazy eye. I actually. literally sent Wes a text and was like, did I have a stroke? I didn't know about. Like I sent a it's picture. It's just a smirk. I mean, it's not a smirk. He was being. Do you want to see the picture? I, I want to see the picture. Okay, I want to show you the picture. But but, I, but see, like, that's the cool thing about like with people taking better care of themselves. Good food is starting to become more popular. Sure. Because I mean, like whenever you eat good food, like the ones that. That is yeah, a that, stroke. That could be either or. Like I can see the smirk a- aspect too. Yeah, it's a smirk. Yeah. I can see the smirk. He's being over dramatic. You're looking good. Dude, like it's a, it's smirky. Dude, what's wrong with my eye? It's, it's smirky. It's I will smirky. say this: if you're going full, like healthy, it is very. It can be a little pricey. Yeah. It's it's much cheaper to eat mm. terrible food. Yeah, it, it is. And, and, That's and, and a fact. It's, it's very uncommon. Uh, it's, it's very unfortunate too. But whenever you do start eating healthier, and like even the food that y'all make, man, like it's it's good food. You don't you're not eating mystery meat. Sure, you, you know uh, that it's it's real yeah. meat. Yeah, like you just. feel feel better yeah tv dinners it's cleaner Mr. you feel lighter and that's i think that's what it's been about for both of us in yeah. terms of like trying to be healthier just feeling better yeah. i mean you know if you eat you know something super heavy at night when you wake up the next morning typically you, you can feel that like you feel yeah. sluggish and heavy yeah. well, and, which i do you know i've been doing meal preps and stuff you know i, I use a local group yeah. out of somerset kentucky zilla meals so shout out to them nice. I, I order from them so they're they're a good bunch of fellers it's sure. it's it's so important, man, and, and it becomes addicting too once yeah. once you start a healthier lifestyle yeah. and eating healthier. Because I mean, like whenever I was down there in Georgia, I love my family, but they ate the soul food. Well, they you know? know how to get down. I mean, that's yeah. how you do it, it when you have a family gathering. Yeah, and, and it is good, and, and I still love the food. But I mean, you really can tell a difference because I've been eating healthy for mm-hmm. weeks, well, almost Makes months you feel now. Better. Yeah, yeah, but but shh, whenever I ate all that bad food, man, it was ugh. And, and, you know, this place, I, I have cheat days. You know, I have Sundays. Sundays is my cheat day. Sure. I, I, I get my burger and a, a, a unhealthy pizza mm-hmm. and stuff like that. But there's still also, like, it ain't that expensive if you know where to look. Right. Yeah. 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 And, but, and, like, and also, like, cooking your own mm-hmm. as well, too. That's where I, that's where it's really important. Yeah. yeah. The preparation is, is definitely, you know, a big part of it. And, you know. Being able to, uh, you know, not rely on eating out yeah. all the time, yeah. I think. Yeah, can't, goes can't a long depend way. on that. And, and that's, that. a, for me, that's what it's all about. I mean, you know when you're 18, you can eat whatever you want. You probably don't gain a pound. These days, a little bit different, yeah. you know. Um, and Let's not talk about ages here, bro. No, I wasn't we're, trying to. We're all in our younger 20s. I'm basically 25. Basically. basically. Anyways, <laughs> what I was getting to is it's just – you're you're affected i think as you, when you get a little bit older you're affected more by your diet than you were when you were younger a lot more you know what i mean a lot yeah more. in terms of just the way that you feel every day i, I was just kidding he's not that old i don't know even <laughs> what he said but i'll take it I, I i did 52 to the camera but you're not it, 52 is that like one of the things that like really got you into cooking is kind of the the healthier aspect of it or just learning how to make no. these good meals on your own no i i just i think for me it was you know, working in kitchens in college and in school, and I really just enjoyed that type of work. It's it, it's hard work. Obviously, you're working in a hot kitchen. It's very chaotic at times. It can be stressful. I thrive in chaos. I, yeah. I don't know what, how else to say it. I've just always enjoyed it. Remember that meme? It's fine. Everything's fine. It's Wes. <laughs> it's the dog yeah, everything's the burning around, around him. Yeah, that's Wes. Yeah, I mean, I just enjoy it. I mean, it's, it's a fun job. Um, Everything's fine. It can be messy and, and you know, dangerous, Ooh. and you're dealing with fire and knives. Can I mention it's, it's Wes fun. is also single? Dealing with fire and... I don't... I don't know how you could even have like, because I mean, like, man, I, I remember talking to you last time. Y'all were talking about like, don't put me on blast like that. <laughs> Too late. I, well, I remember like, what time do y'all like start preparing for well, like a big event? It just depends. I mean, it depends on the size. I mean, you know, we work long days, but a lot of people work long days. Yeah, you know, I'm sure you have tons of long days here. So, yeah. I mean, if we have a a, a big event 
or a concert day is usually you know we'll get in five six a.m. and work until midnight and you know that's kind of but it's not every yeah. day obviously so are you like are you one of those see like i remember my grandparents stuff like that cooking and stuff these big meals and after they've cooked it all and seen it all all day they don't want to eat it yeah it, do, do, you, do you get that yeah. with your yeah that's, i wonder what causes that I don't know. I mean, I think, you know, for a lot of people, like, you enjoy seeing people people happy. Yeah, you like seeing people enjoy something that you made. And I think, you know, like you said, you've just been dealing with it all day, so you're not just feeling sitting down and eating. You're just trying to get the everybody else fit. I think Uh that's a big part of it. You're a good mom. I mean, it's, I don't even know what to say to that. What? <laughs> what? It's 2021. Yeah, I mean, uh, it's, it's, uh, that's uh, true. Uh, so I'll take you. You know what? You, Thank you. You, 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 you reminds me of. Uh, I'll take it do you remember back. that 70 show? This is uh, Kitty over here next to me. Remember uh, Kitty? I don't. <laughs> How does Alex he cut you that? Kitty? He reminds I'm, me of Kitty. I don't love that comparison. Why? You gonna be red? You're yeah. well, well. You're definitely not yes. Jim. You're not definitely not Jim Gaffigan. He was the uh, chef in there. Yeah, on remember? that '70s show. Yeah, yeah, no. Yeah, yeah he was the uh, blonde-headed him. chef. Remember? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. The, the one that was always depressed and that stuff. That was Jim Gaffigan. Yeah, that was Jim Jim, that. Jim Gaffigan. It was, I mean, that's his earlier career mm-hmm. and stuff like that. What a great show that '70s. Yeah, it show really was. was I think best Red, show ever. Red got canceled, didn't he? Red is. I don't know. Yeah, I think, yeah, I think Red got canceled. Everybody's He's too offensive. Yeah, but I mean, like he. He broke his foot off in people's yeah. behind. He was hilarious. You know, that's, yeah. that's the way it's supposed to be with We're somebody like that. Yeah. We're too sensitive. Society in general, not us in this room. Yeah. Well, I'm I, sensitive. It, I know that. You know, but it's, 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 it's unfortunate when it comes to stuff like that because it's the voice of just a few yeah. overtaking the voice of many. That's a fact. You know, and uh, it's... Stupid. Yeah. It's if you can't stupid. laugh at something that's funny, that's clearly meant to be a joke, like Red Foreman obviously was a comedic actor. Yeah. He's he, there to be funny. Yeah, he, he wasn't abusing his kids yeah. in the show. He wasn't verbal abusing or I don't know what he got canceled for. It's just, but like, that, that's, I, I, did he get canceled? Yeah, I think so. I it, thought Danny Danny Masterson got canceled. They probably well, yeah, well, that one, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Danny they, got they, canceled. I don't they, think Red got canceled. No, that, that, Danny well, Masterson got canceled well, we, for... That was a legit some, cancel. Some bad that stuff, was a yeah. legit That was a legit cancel. Yeah, he does some bad stuff. We're talking about the character Red Foreman. Yeah. Just a funny guy. Oh, yeah, I, I, yeah. And, and back then, too... That's how dads were. Yeah. You know, like that's just, that was yeah. it. Yeah. They broke your foot off, his foot off, and you behind yeah. if you didn't do what he said. That's right. Yeah. I think about Remember the Titans every time. You're John Brown hind parts. What I think about it every yeah. time. And can you imagine watching that 70s show and being like actually offended by something Red mm. Foreman said? Like, I can't Red Foreman, how could you be that. offended? Whatever. I, I can't judge. How Man, insensitive. I, I, I feel sorry for like the comedic shows and movies that these young kids are going to have to grow up on oh, yeah. in this cancel. Because I mean, like, in the last seven years, I can't name, oh, six years, I can't name one like really good comedy no. movie mm. that's like really went for it you know yeah yeah like there although was, there's a new jackass man i that am looks pretty good so John also gonna be in a little excited chair? about that he's 49 i, I did not know he rough. was that old well he's, he's gray headed yeah i mean but i mean like i'm surprised the man has any hair at all yeah it's Have a you miracle seen the trailer they shoot him out of the cannon he's like it. 150 but dude like i actually teared up watching that man. trailer because like <laughs> god bless her soul but one of my uh, very 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 uh uh, yeah, let's just call her. She had very Christian-based sure. family members down there in Georgia. She was has the heart of a saint, mm-hmm. and that's what that woman is. And I love her to death. But she gave me my very first $5 bill whenever I was six or five, six, seven, very, very young. And I went to the store, and I bought the very – and I bought Jackass, the movie, on VHS. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. And I, ne- I would still never tell her yeah. what I've done with that $5 yeah. bill. But, like, the, whenever like you're watching the trailer, they have clips from the first movie, and then you're just like, dang, has yeah. it been that long? Yeah, you know, forever ago, man. Yeah. It really is. It's nuts. But it's hilarious. I mean, it if you can't hilarious. laugh at some of that stuff, I mean, it's – Something's wrong with you. Yeah, it's it, hilarious. It, and I think that like the that them coming back at this time, you know, is going to it, it'll be good. 
And, but, and hopefully this is the last because them dudes don't need to be I was going to say, how it. much longer can they hold up? I mean, really. After Seriously. all those injuries, not very long, dude. You wouldn't Johnny think so, Johnson looks like he's seventy. Doing it. He's only yeah. well. Majority. Johnny had to have a catheter for like yeah. three or four years or something like that. He still had like two kids afterwards. Yeah. So I mean, thank God it, all that came like well, now worked yeah. out good Everything's for him. Still working down there. Yeah. Swimming. But I mean, like, just keep swimming. I, I, swimming. I forget how he done that. But I mean, like they—that's the thing. Like they do mess themselves up. This—they uh, had this one new member. I forget his name. But they were doing a Shark Week thing just a few weeks ago. Mm-hmm. And y- y'all remember the old show with Fozzie, the A? Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Happy, Happy days. days. Happy days. Happy days. Happy days. Remember, whenever, remember when he jumps the sharks? Yeah. Yeah. They were going. They recreated oh, that. Oh my god. <laughs> and no. And this one dude. I, there's there's a picture online for anybody who has a tough enough stomach to look at it but his hand was mangled yeah. from a shark it's, it's one of the new cast members yeah. that they have well, there he didn't now. last long and he's still with them and he's all for it but i mean them guys do get hurt though yeah man they i mean i'm sure the list of injuries i, I was watching an interview with johnny knoxville he's going over some of the list of like hospitalizations just in general that he's had over the years is unbelievable yeah but thank god for him and they probably have some very Good insurance. Oh, well, sure, hundred yeah. percent. They have I, to. I, I, like the, like Johnny Knoxville could like get killed during one of those scenes, and he'll come back to haunt Jeff Tremaine. Yeah. And he's like, if the footage is good, keep it. Yeah, like that. That would be his attitude. And some it. of the best pranks of all time. Oh, that yeah, they 100%. pull on that show. I mean, yeah. the high five prank. <laughs> yeah, is, that's what I was going to bring up. Is just the, maybe the funniest <laughs> skit they've ever done. It really is. I mean, oh, I'm just I'm going to miss Bam in this fourth one though. Yeah, he's I understand everything. Completely gone off the rails. Yeah, but he? yeah, but with Ryan, Ryan, know, yeah, yeah, yeah man, I, I I can get it. You know, and who would have thought? You know, like that. Yeah. I, of of all of them, we lose Ryan. I know. You know in a car wreck. But I'm, I get Bam. But one thing that I won't really miss about Bam is whenever they done the glass of water and mm-hmm. he has the boxing glove. Yeah, yeah the, the, the Rocky. The Rocky. Yeah. 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 You'll see Jackass again whenever they come touring in arenas. Yeah. When they're sitting up there on stage with their broken backs. Live shows. Yeah. Watch. I, 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 that'd probably be a good tickets. draw, yeah. I'll Nitro Circus tickets. did that for a while. Yeah. They did those live shows. The, 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 the movie of Nitro Circus was good, too. Yeah. 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 But, boys, we're going to have to wrap this up for the all the shows coming up to the arena. And anybody interested in getting some good food from Elite Catering, tell them where they can get it from. So visit AppalachianWildsArena.com. Of course, like us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, YouTube, all that good stuff. Stay up to date with what's going on at the Appalachian Wilds Arena. And Wes has got you covered on the other stuff. Yeah, just give us a call. Uh, shout out to Chandra Hunley mm-hmm. and Andrea Collins who do all of the booking and the planning at the Overlook Event Center and the Appalachian Wireless Arena. But you can get a hold of us at 444-5500, which is the it's arena phone number, 606 area code. Or, uh, you know, that's the best way to get a hold of us. I don't want to put it Or his email. Up. Wes, Wes at, 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 at com. Sure. Put mine out there. I'm hey, okay I, with I, I that. I put my cell phone out here. I ain't scared of nothing. It, he really did. He put his full yeah, cell I phone remember. number. I remember. Full send, bro. I ain't scared. Prank calls? What are you going to do? <laughs> you can also see that, that beautiful billboard right there beside Ratliff Creek. It's gone. It's gone. So it For now, yeah. until the newest one comes to town. I'm working on that now as we speak. That's not going to happen. Details 11. <laughs> That's not going to happen. Feel the elite catering. But yeah, hit us up. Mm. And uh, we can take care of everybody. Don't need, don't need too, n- nothing too big, nothing too small. Don't need to just shut up about <laughs> that. <laughs> Josh. Wes loves me. He just canceled man. me. Yeah. Y'all are some of my favorite people to uh, talk to. I love Thanks you, boys. Us, man. Thank you for being on. Folks, we'll see you next week. Thank you. Boom. I was going to put you up to the end of it. <laughs>